Hollywood with the movie. My life a movie. I do not fuck with no groupies. Bad bitch trying to seduce me. Uh, yo bitch trying to pursue me. Ooh, somebody pass me the room key. Check it in. This is that trending on episode on currently trending live, and we have a special guest in the building, recording artist himself. Movie, y'all already know who it is. Your boy Young Turn Up. Yeah. We here. Turn up in the building. Yo, Who's trending. You know it go my <laughs> bro. In a real life, talented youth. Been doing his music, listening to his tracks, and I just wanna introduce you to our fan base, the Jamaican fan base and the hip hop fan base that we have, that are our regular listeners and viewers, cause we're up on Spotify to set speed. Word. Yes, me? Um, background. Are Are you Jamaican? Trini. <laughs> Trini. You know, but shout out to all my Jamaican youth. Y'all know, brothers. You know it go. We're still Caribbean. Yeah, I already know. That is it. School was here in the U.S. or in, um, in Trinidad? Nah, school definitely in the U.S. I went to school all the way in Connecticut, so, you know. So you went to school in Connecticut. Born and raised Connecticut? Yeah, well, I lived in Atlanta, lived in, you know, lived in New York, so, you know, I always, like, moved different places, you know, where I felt like I had to, you know, build my career at, you know what I'm saying? It was always about rebranding with me, so I always moved where I felt like it was best for me to be, you know, traveling to where my, where, you know, where my career was going to expand to, so. That is it. And even at the early stage of your career, let's just say talent, you were a skanker, dancer. We, we in Jamaica was a skanker or dancer. Yeah, see? Rivals. You see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, sir. So, I mean, did you initially want to be like a skanker? Well, you know, back in the day, you know, like dancing was, you know, former, you know, definitely, especially like reggae, especially hip hop, you know, like. I used to dance a lot when talent shows and go crazy, you know, especially when it comes to like dance hall music, you know. Shout out to my boy Bill Blacks, you feel me? Like, just really going crazy and just really winning talent shows. And, you know, I took the music with the dancing and basically, you know, that's a part of entertainment. So I kind of put all that together and just, you know, try to become like the best entertainer that I could be, you know what I'm saying? I think that's a great um, way to look at it because even as you go on your musical journey, performance is always going to be a part of that. So for me, that's also a key thing to actually be able to perform for the ladies. That's a fact. Gallus. That is it. You know what I mean? So people, I mean, right now we're going to jump into some deep information. So sit back and enjoy. Is it me? Early influence, what got you into music itself? Um, what really got me into music is, I'm going to be honest with you, like, you know, just the love of hip-hop, period. You know, the love of hip-hop and R&B, just listening to it. You know, like when I lost my dad, like, it was nothing like nothing else I could really you know vibe to. It was like everything was just like you know it was like down for me. So it was like music was like the only thing that was like inspiring me. Like you know sometimes like my favorite artists would talk about like how I'd be feeling for the day. You get what I'm saying? So I felt like when it came to music and when it came to like just being passionate about that, I felt like the form of hip hop, you know, and the form of you know the spoken word of of just you know poetry or just rap made me like yo I gotta write my own poetry. I gotta write my own music. You know what I'm saying? So me doing that and forming my, you know, basically my talent into what it was, I put it in formulated in young turn up ways. Like, if everybody could, you know, these rappers could, you know, I could listen to them and buy their album because they're expressing their ways of how they feel, I could do the same thing and, you know, the world might understand how I feel. So I did it like that. So that's what really made me get into hip hop and like started really rapping and get into this music stuff. But yeah. Facts. And, and and to me, it's it's interesting I mean, you did mention that your father, your father passed away. Yeah, Condolences. You know Appreciate what I mean? Afi, you know, acknowledge. You know what I mean? When we have great parents, but them pass. So big up to Young Turnup for that. Um, Give us some information on the name, Young Turnup. Young Turnup. So, you know, Young Turnup come from, you know, rebranding myself. I used to be not a great at first. If anybody knows, I used to be not a great. So... This one I had my label do, and you know, a lot of discrepancies, you know, I want to talk about, but it was more or less of rebranding it to Young Turnip. So Young Turnip was like who I really was, you know what I'm saying? Like, not a great was like, all right, I'm trying to get a deal. I'm trying to, you know, be this type of rapper, but I felt like Young Turnip was actually who I was. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm turned. Always turned. Always turned. Everybody know who I am. I'm turning up the party. You need me there. I'm turning your shit up. So it's like everywhere I go, I'm making a movie, you know what I'm saying? So I just felt like Young Turnip, when I went to Atlanta, you know, at first I was going to be Young Peso. You get what I'm saying? Because I was like, I'm about the money. I'm about the money. I'm about the money. So that was my rebrand name. I was going to be Young Peso. But then at the time, when I went to Atlanta, it was just like, you know, crunk music. You know, they they were more of crunk music. So by the time I was turning up, 
everybody like, man, turn up, turn up, turn up. And they just kept calling me that. I ain't know why. Then I just stuck with it. I'm like, all right. And next thing you know, I just put the young in front of it. And, you know, young turn up came about that. You see me? I feel like once, you know what I mean, you're like on a journey, your destiny always speaks to you. No, that's a fact. You feel me? So when they were saying that, something, things that just happen, bro. Things happen for a reason. So as long as you're walking within your, your destiny and you're on that journey, Whatever comes once it's positive and keeps you moving, that's it. That's a Fendi. Isn't it? And the rest is gotta, history. And you got to keep God first. You know, I feel like if, you know, without God, I wouldn't even be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. Even in, you know, the struggle when it comes to, you know, being an independent artist and, you know, just grinding. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to put God first every day that you wake up. You got to put God in your relationship. You got to put God, you know, praying about your kids, your family. So, especially when it comes to your career, you definitely got to put God in that if you think he wanted to work. So, you know. Facts. That's a big fact. So God I, bless. You know how that go. Exactly. <laughs> and I, I see that you're a God-fearing person. And um, I have this question for you. And I think the fans would love to know this question. So, why would you say that music is a passion? Because I can see that you're passionate about it. Why would you say it's a passion for you? That's a good question. I feel like music, when it comes to me, like the reason why it's passionate to me, like I feel like music take away the pain that I went through. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my childhood, the struggle, the, my PTSD, you know what I'm saying? Like watching my friends get killed, you know what I'm saying? And going through shit, you know what I'm saying? So me being passionate about music, I get to talk about my life. I get to put this in, you know, in a, in a motion picture and make it a movie. You know Paint that picture like a canvas. Exactly. So I'm painting pictures with my words. So most people, when they listen to the music, they listen to this shit. They not, they like, is this real? Or is he just rapping? And, you know, most of the time people just think that, you know, a lot of rappers just rap. Right. Sometimes I'm, it's real, sh real shit. Yeah. But you know, me without, you know, everything, you know, without the feds and everybody getting involved, you know, I just tell my story and put little increments in different ways until, you know, my rap and then I paint the picture like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm more of a storyteller than anything, you know what I'm saying? So when I rap, I tell stories, so. I like that, Um, which 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 makes me wonder like, who are some of the artists that are you, you, early inspiration or people that you look up to in the game? Um, Nas. Nas. Um, definitely, definitely DMX. Um, can't forget about Master P when it comes to Master P and the hustle. I, I definitely looked up to Master P when I was younger, just about just being, you know, how to hustle when it comes to just being businessman, businessman, like anything that you wanted to. So I just, I just went crazy and, and studied Master P, um, Fifty Cent, just because you know the way how Fifty got out the mud and and you know stride back up and you know and, and I love his ambition and what he could do because Facts. nobody, nobody can stop me what I'm going to do. Facts. I know I'm going to be you know a multi-millionaire billionaire. So it's just the simple fact that. Having that ambitious, I always look to those rappers who, who you know, kind of like resemble me. You know what I'm saying? Like Fab, when it comes to the drip, you get what I'm saying? So those are the kind of people that I really like looked up to. And emulate, right, right. For me, like, all right, so now you've been in this game for over 10 years, bro, yeah, right? Nice. Um, Independent. Independently. Deals, then, then did label deals with people, you know, shout out to Mario Chief, you know what I'm saying? Like, found producers, discovered them, and, you know, like, shit was real. So, it just, you know, my journey of just being in the industry and just even being an artist, a part of it, like, it's just, it's just crazy, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't even get to go through the doors that I get through. So, it's just like being even around these people, even being around amongst other people that's successful is a great thing because that makes you want to go hard and be more successful than what you, you know what I'm saying? I agree with you 100%. But let's let let, let, let people let know some of the accolades because for me, this is important. The accolades would be like people that you, you open shows for. Oh, yeah. Like I did, look, man, shout out to uh, Duke Deuce. I did, rest in peace, um, Fred the Godson, Jada Kiss, um, Shit, honestly, so much I could go on because if you want to go back 10 years, like I could go like all the way back to Young and May, like you get what I'm saying, like all the way back to Chief Keep days, you know what I'm saying, Big Mike, you get what I'm saying, when it really was showcases when you had to open up to get your name out there, you get what I'm saying, like G Herbal, you know what I'm saying, like those are the artists that was coming up, like I came up at the young at the time when Young and May was coming up, you know what I'm oh, saying, okay. Jack Thriller Freestyles and all that, so it was just more or less like me rebranding my name a lot of people like yo your face look familiar but they don't remember my name because my name was not the great you get what i'm saying oh so i got it tatted right here you get what i'm saying so it, it was my that was my industry name like i was going to be not a great sign with the you know with the label all that but me becoming young turnip that's just who i was you get what i'm saying and i rebranded that so now 
that pushed me to a whole different, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing drill music now, I'm doing universal music, I'm doing international shit. I'm not just based on one genre how I was when I was neither great, I was based on just rap and hip hop. So now it's, it's universal now, you get what I'm saying? I like that. Um, Like for, for the, you open a lot of shows for a lot of artists and you also do a lot of um networking. Facts. I'm big uh, on networking. networking. And business. Yeah. Tell us about how you go about doing your networking and business. If you want to share what you want to share. So, you know, just being a business minded business person, like I feel like when it comes to your business, you got to dress for that. So that's why when anybody see me, they like, you always dress, you look nice. It's like, yo, you got to look how you want. I look like money. So the money going to attract, you get what I'm saying? That is it. So that's that's literally the key. So when it comes to business, I'm smelling like money, looking like money. Baby, I taste like money. I'm going to get the money. So when it comes to the business mind, now I'm stepping in these rooms. I know it's people in here that might be richer than me. I know it's people in here that might put me in a better position. So guess what? I'm coming in here to communicate. I'm coming in here to know what you do. What's your, what's your background? What's your job? Are you an executive? So closed mouths don't never get fed. A lot of people get into these doors. A lot of people get into these rooms with all these industry people, and they don't, they don't say a word at all. It's not about being a groupie. It's not about being nothing. It's about getting, knowing who they people with, the right people to talk to. That's why you communicate. You get what I'm saying? You might bump into heads to the dude who's paying this artist. You trying to bump into the artist. The artist can't pay you. The artist can't make you rich. The artist gonna give you a feature. Then you gotta go through executives. You gotta go through producers. You gotta go through branches just to even get it cleared. So you gotta think about when it comes down to the industry. When it comes down to the game, as a businessman, as somebody who wanna win. And you an artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm an independent artist, so you gotta be a shark in the water. You get what I'm saying? You gotta Facts. be the you gotta be the meanest, toughest motherfucker out there, but you also gotta be humble with it too. You get what I'm saying? Like you can't scare off the bag. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people scare off the bag. A lot of people get into these rooms and get around these people that wanna pay them, but they don't know how to secure the bag. Securing the bag is all about partnership. Partnership is a big thing when it comes to industry. You get what I'm saying? And that partnerships goes into um Basically, um, endorsement deals. Endorsement deals is what's going to pay you. You get what I'm saying? Once you got big endorsement deals that's behind you, they're going to buy the album. The album is going to sell because now you got these marketers that's marketing you also with your album. So your album is going to do great. Most people want to drop albums and do that, but they don't got no endorsements. They don't got none of that. So before I'm trying to do and drop an album or even trying to put out a mixtape, I'm partnering partnership up with so much people that when it's time to do that, yo, I got this sponsorship, I got this sponsorship, I got this, so I could do a commercial, I could do that. When it's time to actually, you know, get the, you know, algorithm, the, you know, the organic fans, you want to do it the right way. It's not just TikTok. You could really do it, you know, on the ground up on the ground. I was being just being outside because we outside. <laughs> you well, know I mean? bro, it sounds like you're not cutting no shortcuts. None, none whatsoever, and I think that's why a lot of people fear me in the industry because they see that I don't, I don't come with no bullshit. I don't come to play. I don't really come with no shortcuts, and you're not gonna shortbread me. Facts. I'm not the gingerbread man. You can't take a, you can't take a piece of my shit. Like I need everything that come with me. If I'm worth a hundred million dollars, you get what I'm saying? I'm worth a hundred million dollars. Like I act, I rap, I produce, I manage artists. I, you know what I'm saying? I promote artists. I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Sign. You're versatile. Listen, I'm out here getting the bag. I'm out here, you know what I'm saying, promoting shows. I'm out here doing so much, you know what I'm saying, booking DJs. And so it's like when it comes down to just who, like, Young Turnip is, I can't even put an actual tag in the back of me. It's just like, bro, I'm just. You're an entertainer. I'm a plug. <laughs> You're an entertainer, entertainer slash plug. Exactly. But, but, but if you think about it, bro, doing all of this is just, is just building up your accolades and your experience. That's a fact. So for me. That's a great thing to accomplish. At the end of the day, you will know what to do and what not to do. That's a fact. And a lot of people that, you know, that's in the game, they fail to realize that it's all about good management. You get what I'm saying? I went through bad management twice. You get what I'm saying? And that was the worst thing I could ever did in my career. Well, you have the experience. Exactly. But not, and that's what made me who I am now. So having the, you know, the bad management and, you know, I felt like as an artist, you know, that's going to frustrate you. And a lot of artists, that that's going to make them, you know, either want to quit this shit or just give up. You get what I'm saying? That's true. Like, Y'all don't, I'm frustrated. I don't want to do this no more. So me being me, I already seen, like, I'm going to let people burn their bridge they self. And I'm not sending a life vessel or, light or, exactly. or, a, boat, or a boat for them. Because once I cross this bridge, it's just, it, it is what it is. A lot of people can't make it to the top with you. So I know I outgrew a lot of people. And there's never no beef. It's just I outgrew y'all. It's just that I see where my life is going to be at, 
and I see where y'all going to be at. Y'all still want to be in the same predicament, the same positions that y'all was in 10, 15 years when we was kids where I'm out here growing and really trying to be the best that I could be, you know, and really bring back to my community, really bring back to the hood, really bring back to the... Representing. Know, exactly. You know what I'm saying? For my island culture, for Trini, you know, even, you know, just for where I'm from, and I try to bring back to everywhere, even the artists that I'm around, you get what I'm saying? Like, if I can help them in their career, I'm going to do that because it's... It's always about fair game, you get what I'm saying? Everybody look at shit like it's competition, bro. Facts. Like, it really ain't no competition when you really out here doing the business right. Doing it the right way. Exactly. Correct Correct me if I'm wrong. Is Nicki Minaj from Trini? Trini, yes, sir. Shout out to Nicki, you already know. Nicki, uh, Nicki definitely from Trini, so you know. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. Yo, at the end of the day, bro, if she can do it, you can do it. Exactly. So it's, it's, it, and it's all about real life entertainment, real life fans, real life organic being yourself because a lot of people forget that when you are an entertainer you 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 really step forward into this limelight of being a star of course and, and some people get lost in that shit you feel me some people be like oh i'm this big star i'm this and that but then you really forget what you got at home you got a family at home you know what i'm saying you might have unpaid bills your mama's still paying your phone bill a lot of people forget that real but life where you come from so never forget where you coming from when you actually building your brain because those people that actually know you gonna really support you. And most of the time, a lot of people hate, but you take that hate and you formulate respect. Because no matter if they hate you, they gotta respect you because you grind and they gonna see like, this nigga really doing this shit. Facts. You get what I'm saying? So Facts. It's like, once you really doing it, they can't really say nothing. It's like, bro, what you, what you gonna say? I'm out here really doing it. I'm in rooms that you not. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm in executive meetings that you're not in. You get what I'm saying? I can help you put in positions, but the hate be so real that a lot of people don't don't want to validate that because they looking at their means and they like, oh, my means could do it. My man's doing this. But in, in real life situations, you want to look at, yo, who's ahead of the game? Like, who's really doing the work? Like, yo, bro, I see you out there doing your thing. It ain't nothing to call somebody to be like, yo, I respect you, yo. Like, I'm saying, like, you got to connect for me. I'm trying to get, I, I, you know, A to B. Here you go, bro. This is a person that, that could, I think that could help you. As simple as that, but a lot of people don't do that because it's mathematics. It's either you gonna be that nigga that's eating it, or you gonna be that nigga that's not getting it. You get what I'm saying? So pride. It, it ain't exactly the word. It's pride, pride. I, I, and 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 that's all I got from that. So sometimes you have to remember though. Sometimes a nigga can't even come to you, young turn up, because he said so many shit about you. So to come to you, it's gonna be hard. Exactly. So it, it's really about the come up too. Like when you see, <laughs> when you see people out here grinding, you see people out here really in motion and really focused. Like I, you really get into it. I'm getting to that bag, but I'm Facts. focused. You get what I'm saying? But I got a lot of real life shit that's coming with my career. You got to remember how to know how to balance things out. A lot of people don't know how to balance things out because they so focus, 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 focus on their career that you forget about the real you. I could never forget about who I am. I'm young, turn up all the way, but guess what? I'm still be me at the real nigga I am inside. And that's why I niggas be like, damn, like, no, young turn up is still the same nigga that's when he not young turn up. I'm gonna yeah. still be me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what really separates me from a lot of these artists because you balance everything. I don't gotta act. Even though I'm a great actor, you get what I'm saying? I get booked for films. It's like, at the end of the day, I don't gotta act about who I am. And most people look at it like, damn, bro, like this, I, I grew. I grew into and developed what I wanted to be. So, at the end of the day, maybe 10 years ago, I didn't know I was going to be this person. I didn't know I was going to, you know what I'm saying, talk the way I talk. I didn't know I was going to move the way I move. You know what I'm saying? Everything was articulated the way God planned it for me. So. Amen to that. <laughs> you basically elevated. Exactly. A and now you have like a management team, right? Yeah. Um, they work with you with most of stuff when it comes to the professional part so that people don't have to just come to you. They could talk to your management team and do all the things professionally. I think that's great that you have that. Um, and for the people that don't know, Young Turnip is a versatile artist, but he also major in the hip hop space. Um, tell us about any tracks that are out that we need to be aware of. Music videos that are coming soon. Um, right now, I got movie. You already know that's on all platforms. Um, I got the Detroit Freestyle that's on all platforms. Body Chalk, Body Chalk, Body Chalk. Listen, y'all gotta go. Listen, that's a club banger. Man, it's so much. I got um, the Sammy remix I like. 
on all platforms. Young Turn Up, y'all can go look that up. Like, I got so much music coming out. I got, like, overfunded songs in the vault right now. You feel I like me? that. I like that you're staying hard and the working. Thing, and the thing about it is, right, a lot of people just want to put out songs. Like, you don't got to just put out a song. Like, you like you got to know how to manage that song. It take $100,000 to really get radio play, bro. You know what I'm saying? People forget that. Like, if you ain't got $100,000 to really put it to this radio play, you got you to gotta get favoritism. You got to go to the radio DJ and be like, yo, you can play my track, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of niggas, like you said, they go back to that word P, pride. Like, a lot of people don't know, like, bro, have a partnership with them. Like, yo, spend my shit, bro. Now this shit bust, I'll give you a percentage of this shit, bro, because you're the one who made it bust. You make it, you're doing networking. Networking, bro. That's all you're doing because at the end of the day, the DJs is the one that's supposed to make the track hot. Hot. They spin it, they spin it, they play it in the club, and then next thing you know, everybody. Next level. Next level shit, you feel me? So now a lot of people disrespect the DJs in the club. But that's dumb, cause you, then you don't get you the ever strength. See that? You ever see that when you're yeah. like, Yo, play my track, play my record, play my record? A DJ like this trying to spin the tune, then you, you got a person coming up here saying, "Play my record, play my record." He like, "Yo, I got your record, but I know when I'm, I'm gonna drop it when this Bobby Smurder shit come when the mix come." I'm mixing where it makes sense. Yeah, where it makes sense. I'm not just gonna play a track because you want me to play your track. Yeah, so it's it, so so what I'm getting from from Young Turnip is the approach. Exactly. So there's a right approach for the right timing. So I mean, as long as the DJ give him word, just trust that he will do his shit. You gotta remember the DJ work for you. You if you're an artist, right? The DJ work for you. So artist DJ go together. It's like you know, it's like they appear. Yeah, they are. If an artist don't make no music, the DJ ain't got nothing to play. Think about it. So at the end of the day, you, <laughs> you need each other. So <laughs> if I'm making some fire and I know I got some fire, I'm calling every DJ on my phone. Yo, I'm about to hit, I'm about to send y'all this shit right now. They, you it's, guys do need each other because I've seen artists fire. have their, their personal DJs to go on tour with them. And mm -hmm. that's for a particular reason. And that DJ knows he's going to benefit as that artist DJ exactly. playing all these hits. That builds a reputation for him, just as you, it builds professionalism for the artist, having his own DJ on set. Exactly. So people have to really understand the business. So what you're talking about is straight fucks. No, no, no. Do you, uh, just correct me if I'm wrong, though. Do you, are you working on a feature with Ding Dong, or is there a feature? No, so, so the, we were supposed to do a video in Brooklyn. Right, right, so right. So I was supposed to be featured in the video in Brooklyn. He had a video in Brooklyn probably like, Two three days ago, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go on his y'all go on his page right now. Check it out. We supposed to do a sign. I had seen him at Busta Rhymes some party. You know, shout out to Busta Rhymes. Son. Shout out to Busta Rhymes. You feel me? Ja, what up, Ja? So Ding <laughs> Dong, what up? Y'all already know Revers. That so, is it. That's it. So we was all you know in the party. Ding Dong performed. Spice was there. You know, a lot of big names was there. So I had seen him, and then you know, word got back to me. They're like, Yo, Ding Dong, yo, yo, come to Brooklyn, yo. We about to, it's about to be mad. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, we supposed to go to Ding Dong Party, but we had got caught up. I was with Stunner Dior. Shout out to Stunner Dior, you feel me? You know, Ghana Princess, so, you know, running with her. You know, I'm part of her team, so running around with her, it just got real hectic that night. We went to, like, two label meetings, you know, two listening parties that night. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Universal Records. You, you already know. So, Shy Mac. So it was a lot of things going on that night, so I couldn't even make it. I forgot. When, as an artist, you got to remember, your schedule always fails. So you thinking like, yo, Ding Dong was it, it was an important thing to do. You know what I'm saying? To be featured in that video. But I had other things to do. I had label meetings. I had to meet up with Universal. You know what I'm saying? So it the whole night just went away. So me coming the next morning like, yo, what were we supposed to do yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> and and this is one of the things that you stay busy. So busy, busy. And sometimes being an artist, yo, you forget birthdays. You be like, yo, I forgot to call. Oh, you might you might forgot to call your favorite cousin. Yo, sometimes I be having to catch myself. I miss, I be missing appointments because you be so focused on your career that you really forget about your real life. And this is why you got to balance real life, career. You know Facts. So you chasing your career so much, sometimes I, I forget to eat because... I'm outside in New York. You're grinding, I'm bro. Grinding. You get what Grind. I'm saying? In I, real life. Real life. You get what I'm saying? So I'm really going hard about what I want to do and where I want to be in life. So sometimes I forget to eat, even though that's essential shit. But yeah. in my mind up here, it's like, bro, I eat when I'm rich, my yeah. nigga. I can eat a lobster meal, steak, crab. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? I can sawfish every day. That is it. That's is it. That's what the life is about. That's what I'm chasing. So it's like that's get rich or die trying. Exactly. So. That, that's what you were mentioning with the Fifty Cent. He was just that was his motto: get rich or get rich die or trying. trying. And that was a, that's a very smart 
freaking mo- um that was a very start line that he put exactly. together exactly like that's that, dope that scene right there is like it's real life it's like movie you know what i'm saying like i i say movie movie is you know what i'm saying my track is called movie i've been saying movie like forever you know what i'm saying always felt like everything. that's your slang yeah that's yeah when i feel like Anything is, is a movie. When it's, you hear people say, oh, movie, yeah, that's movie, big shit. You yeah. know that big, big thing are gone. You know, big things are gone. So, movie is like, man, we outside. Like, it's litty. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, a turn up vibe. It's, exactly. It's turned up. Like, we about to get active. We activated out here. You know what I'm saying? So, demon time. So, it really just went from me going to being like, yo, movie. Like, my life is really a movie because everything that I'm doing is. Actually, you're but, blessed too to be in rooms. Yeah, it's, that's it's, why you probably say movie because it's not just like anybody get the opportunities that you're getting. Exactly, being so around the people that you're around. You would think like this is a movie shit. Like yo, when you wake up, <laughs> you don't think that yo you about to be sitting next to Buster Rhymes. You don't think that you about to be at the BET Awards. You don't think and wake up like yo your track just went viral. You don't you don't wake up and like yo your track in Africa. You know what I'm saying? They doing videos and and um TikTok clips to your shit. So. When you wake up and you realize, like, yo, you becoming, like, this this star, this mogul, you know, not even for your city, but just for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to live up to that now because guess what? They people are looking up to you. So you Role gotta, model. Exactly. So now you got to be focused on what you're doing because everybody's looking at you. know how much every time I go out with a camera, yo, you young turn up. Yeah, I'm young turn up, but at the end of the day, I'm a role model too. I got to be that person. You get what I'm saying? You want to autograph, huh? All right, let me get back to doing what I'm doing. You get what I'm saying? Don't don't it. don't violate my space. And I get that's, that's where Kanye it. come from. Uh, like, Kanye one of my favorite artists because I feel like you know he really like go hard for you know independency. You get what I'm saying? And that's one thing I'm really about is independency. Like I really go hard for that. Like you know, as an independent artist, it sounds like you're proud. Yeah, like I, I, I have a question for you. Five years from now, because you're you're in the game ten years now. Um, you're getting a lot of um, networking business. Of, uh, you're doing features. You're doing songs. You're movies. Movie. <laughs> and his whole life is a movie, basically. Right. Shout out to Ching America. You already know. Shout out to DJ Raw Heat. <laughs> Yo, um, shout out to Chris Brown. You know, Spike Lee. You know, anybody that put me in a movie that gave me no opportunities to ever even be on the big screen and any type of short films or, you know, major picture. Like, so... Anybody that ever like put me in position, I'm, I'm just blessed to even work with y'all or anybody. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my team, you know CPR Records, Sunny Dior. You know a lot of people. You know Trev Mula, a lot, bro. DJ Lex. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people who who put in effect the way I gotta go. Where you know what I'm saying? Build with, you up to this level. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Yaya Beats. She is the main factor of turn up music. You know what I'm saying? She make my beats. That's my little cousin. You know what I'm saying? 19 years old, going crazy on the beats. That's what I'm talking about. Five years from now, where do you see yourself? Five years from now, I see myself being a mogul, seeing myself being like an ambassador just for a speaker, just for, you know, my people, you know what I'm saying? For the the African-American culture, you know what I'm saying? For the, the island culture, like, yo, it's not just all about, you know, bigging up and going out to parties, you know, bounce that ass, shaking that girl, you know what I'm saying? Throwing money on the girl It's really about leveling up, building back, processing it, doing it again. Showing your people how to do it because that's how you win. You get what I'm saying? And if I can't develop knowledge to bring back to you to give you knowledge, then doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make no sense. I'm I'm nobody to you. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to do is develop knowledge from people who who they can never be around. These people ain't gonna be around as these, the people that I'm around. So guess what? All I could do is develop knowledge from these people and bring it back to the people that want to know. You get what I'm saying? Build the community. Build build the youths. And you can't bring. A horse to the to the to the lake. You get what I'm saying? Facts. It, it, you, you, it just really that's just what it is. And a lot of people is gonna hate on you for your success. And then when you're trying to get them opportunities, they are gonna bite the hand that feed them. So that makes you kind of uh, you kind of want to be careful. Yeah, that make you want to follow. You know, fall back from a lot of people. And I just felt like you know what I'm saying like if I gotta fall back to really just show everybody like man, listen, I'm just trying to be successful to really take care of my daughter. It's not about being a star. It's not about being none of that. It's really about taking care. And, of And then the day you're you're a human being. With yeah. real life, real feelings. Exactly. And when you and when you're young, turn up. You still have to be a father exactly. to your daughter. Balance. <laughs> that's, that goes back to balance. You feel me? We talking about balancing your career. Yeah, exactly. Real life, bro. Right now, we're gonna go into a part of the podcast called Keep It Hundred. We're gonna touch some of the the industry questions that I think people would like to see where you at when you think about these things. Or I'm gonna start off with. All right, keep it on you, bro. All right, um, 
let's start off with some recent heat that I see in the media lately. We've been seeing Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion going at it. Mm. Uh, what do you think? What, who do you think make better music? Between Nicki and, and Megan, Megan Thee Stallion. I mean, Megan dropped a fire track. I was about to say, they both fire. Because Megan could really rap. You get yeah, what she I'm could, saying? She, she hard. And Nicki could really rap too. You who do you think it? makes better music? You're and on the spot. Keep it 100. I'm, 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 Keep it 100. Between Megan and Nicki? Between Megan and Nicki. I'm going to have to go with Nicki. I feel like Megan still got a lot to prove. You, you know gonna what I'm go saying? With Nikki? And I gotta I gotta go with Nikki because I feel like Megan still got a lot to prove. Megan could really rap. You get what I'm saying? And shout out to Megan and Stallion, you know what I'm saying? Like I met her before, but I felt like Nikki really like, you know, paved the way for a lot of female rappers, you know what I'm saying? Like Meg the Stallion. So Meg the Stallion really got a lot to do, even though she probably went in Grammys and stuff like that, but she still got a lot to prove in her career, you know, as much as Nikki did. You get what I'm saying? Nikki That's paved it. a lot of ways. A lot of number one albums, bro, a lot of worldwide tours. So I would say Nikki. Okay. All right. I heard this. Uh, so keep it 100. I heard this. This is coming from Joe Budden. He made this statement. I want to hear what you think about it. He says the female rapper wave is over when it comes to a plant. Do you think he is on to something? Not really because I feel like the female rappers got the rap game in a chokehold. You know what I'm saying? Gorilla, Cardi B. Um, Sexy Red. Sexy Red. I was, I was just about to say that. Sexy Red, Lotto. You feel me? Even Stunny the Yule, like the come up. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, Connie, the dime, Connie Diamond. You feel me? Like, there's so much names I could name right now when it comes to female rappers. Kaya Baby. Like He thinks the wave is over, so you're saying not really. No, never. Like, the, they got the wave. They actually keeping hip-hop alive right now. You get what I'm saying? So, mm. when it comes to just being in the industry, you see nothing but female rappers. Ice Spice. You got these girls that's taking over the game. You doing the things. You don't see, you don't see dudes. Who, who really, name? you tell me right now, that's a dude who dropping tracks. Consistently? Consistently, like these females right now. Ooh. I would say Meek, but Meek is a... Uh, Meek ain't Meek. dropping no tracks. Meek, Meek. I would say him, but he does tracks. He does now. features. Yeah. They not, these um, girls is going hard because they got something Drake? to prove. Drake, that's it. That's the only nigga that you could say. 21? 21, but guess what? Who he do music with? Drake. They making albums together, so at the end of the day... Future? But those are big headline names. They've been in the game for how long? Over 10 years. Young boy. Young boy been in the game for five years. Those are whole, all headline names. I'm talking about ladies right now that you just named. All those ladies I just named, those are all upcoming and, and like actually ladies that's popping right now. So you Less gotta, than five years. Ex less than five years. In the game. Less than a year. I Spice blew up yesterday a year. You get what I'm saying? So you got to think about where the music at is now. You get what I'm saying? A lot of females go out there and spit their life out. You get what I'm saying? Go Facts. On. Rapping, rapping, they rapping around circles when I just, you just got to know how to really make a song. And that's why I'm an A&R when it comes to like listening to music. And that's why the industry really, you know what I'm saying, Universal, Atlantic, these people, you know, they, they like, yo, you got the ear for the music as well as you being an artist. You get what I'm saying? So mm. you got to know what, what the sound is like. You get what I'm saying? So I know that shit. Um, so you don't agree. So we're going to move on to the next question. Watch the snow, my bro. Keep it 100. Lotto or Gorilla? Who you think is more lyrical? Mm, Lotto. Lotto. Lotto, definitely. I Lotto. agree. She and, goes, she's fire. Bro. And I watched Lotto, you know, grow up from off the, the show with JD. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like Lotto definitely improved herself when it comes to like just yeah, she's dope. music. So she's shout dope. out to Lotto. You feel me? She's dope. Um, This is going to be funny. This is a little personal. Keep it 100. Who would you date? Scissor or Sexy Red? Scissor all day. Would you walk on scissor? <laughs> but listen. Yo, yo, listen, listen. Why you didn't say sexy red? Yo, yo, listen, listen, because I'm tired of hood and ratchet bitches. bitches. Pause even part of me, but listen, I'm so tired of hood and ratchet, bro. Listen, so you go with scissor. I'm going with scissor the island girl waking up to listen, breakfast, waking going to sleep, the curry. R B vibe. R B vibes and at the end of the day she cooking. Even though they both, they both ain't, you know what I'm saying? They both crazy, but at the end of the day, Sexy Red would probably just be like my little fling or something like that. You feel me? Like I don't think she would mind anyways. Nah, you she and Sukiyana on the same way. Shout wave. out to Sexy Red. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I have one more question. And this is um, a trending um, question because these uh, songs that I'm going to refer to are trending. Young Turnip, Keep It 100. Mooney Long, Made For Me, or... 
Tyler Water. Which song Ooh. you think makes a great impact up until this date? Mm. I, I got to give Tyler Water. Tyler She's been Water. out for four months. Water. M- Mooney Long, Made For Me, just came out a month ago. But these are two big songs. I feel like the Tyler Water, they make me swear. That, listen, that song right there, shout out to Tyler. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you know good music, you know good music. Just like Tim's. When Tim's came out, Tim's music is fire. It's real essential. You know what I'm saying? Where you could sit back and, you know what I'm saying? Like my mother used to be in the house, get the pine saw, get the Febreze, you yeah. feel me? Get, get the Fabuloso. Like that's that's house cleaning music. That's, Facts. That's all around music. You could go and play that at your wedding. So at the end of the day, I feel like definitely I'll say her. Shout out to Tyler. Definitely shout out to Tyler. Big up yourself. You, you, that song is very popular, and I think it is doing a good it's number. It's doing great right now. It's doing 130 millions on YouTube right now. That's a fact. I ain't even gonna hold you. Stunner Dior, you know what I'm saying? She got a track with her right now. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's dope. Listen, shout out to Stunner Dior. Stunner Dior working right now. You feel me? Like, she doing it. Going hard right now. So, my bro, before we go, I need you to do me two favors. I want you to drop a dub plate freestyle and i wanted you to give all these people your social media handles so that you can follow you and find your music on all social media platforms that is it that is it then we're gone <laughs> i already know we about to hit it with the movie my life for movie I do not fuck with no groupies. Bad bitch trying to seduce me. Uh, yo bitch trying to pursue me. Ooh, somebody pass me the room key. Somebody pass me the room key. She ride me like Suzuki. Eat the lobster, no sushi. Uh, yeah with the Uzi. Knock off your koofy. Paid in full, my life is a movie. Stacking the celery, I dipped in the blue cheese. She tied my name on her boobies. I'm making her drip from her coochie. I'm a double G, yeah, no Gucci. My life is a radar off movie. Y'all already know, man. Young turn up in the fr- Building. Movie. Movie. Listen, movie everywhere, man. We going on tour of May, man. Y'all already know, man. Royal Family Tour. We outside, man. Y'all already know. It's a movie, man. Let's Social go. media handlers, my brother. Shout Let out to Africa. Know. Since Africa is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but it's a movie, man. Y'all could all go find me on Instagram at YUNG underscore turn up that's why you ng underscore turn up y'all can find me on all platforms and young turn up all my music y'all want to go google me y'all can go google my network y'all want to go google what i do who i work with what what you know who, what labels i partnership with what artists i work with y'all just go just ask and hit me in my inbox we can link i'm outside for real mr make a movie 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 this is young turn up people in the building this is that trending and we are out. We out, y'all. See you guys <laughs> next week. Bow! Movie.